Hello guys, Sasha Gurumi here, and today I'll be reviewing another. This was a horror mystery anime about a girl named Misaki, who for some reason, people act like she doesn't exist in school. I heard some bad things about this anime, but I still want to give it a chance because it's rare to see a horror anime. I was pleased with the mystery aspect of this anime, but the horror aspect of it was lacking. In this anime, a boy named Koichi has transferred to a new school and attends class free. He notices that everyone in class seems to ignore the existence of a girl named Misaki. It was as if he was the only one who could see her and talk to her. Koichi investigates the mystery of why everyone is ignoring Misaki and learns shocking truth about the curse placed on Class 3. I was really immersed in the mystery of this anime as it intrigued me so much. I was really curious why people kept pretending Misaki didn't exist when students clearly saw her. Every episode was so exciting to watch as I wanted to see what kind of shocking secret would be revealed next. It really did feel like Koichi was like a detective and it was fascinating seeing him find out clues about the mystery and question the students in the class as well. I literally had no idea what the secret to the mystery was until it was actually revealed. I'm glad that the secret to the mystery wasn't obvious as it would completely ruin the mystery aspect if the mystery could be so easily solved. There will be no excitement as there will be no shocking plot twists. See a race for example. The killer in a race was so obvious and it completely ruined the show. Even after the mystery on why everyone was avoiding Misaki was solved, another big mystery occurred. This is what I really liked about the Sandman. The person who wrote this story didn't drag out the mystery on why Misaki was treated as if she didn't exist. They built up the mystery, and after the mystery was solved, the author was still able to make this story have things that needed to be solved. Dragging out conflict or mystery can really ruin a person's enjoyment for a story, and I'm glad this anime didn't have that flaw. Now let's talk about the disappointing part of this anime, which was the horror. Horror was supposed to be the other appeal before watching this anime but it failed badly in that regard. I wasn't scared or freaked out by death scenes in another. It didn't freak me out like the death scenes in Higurashi. In fact, the death scenes in another made me laugh so much. The death scenes felt like comedic relief. Characters were dying in the most over the top way, not to mention some characters died in such random ways that made the death scenes feel ridiculous. It felt like whoever made the death scenes was trying too hard to make them scary and tried to make the characters die in the bloodiest way. I felt like the show was trying to be edgy. You didn't mean to make the death scenes so over the top. Having the characters die in simple ways still drives a message across about how terrifying the curse is. I had a good laugh though while watching the death scenes, but honestly, this show would have been better if it just toned down the death scenes. As the main character, I felt like Koichi was a generic nice guy, but I did like his determination to find out the truth about the mystery, as the other characters in the class didn't even want to get involved with the mystery at all. Misaki was a cool deer and didn't show emotions at all. She fascinated me as a character though, as I really wanted to know why she acted so broken inside. It was as if she hated life. I'm glad this anime explained details about Misaki's past. The opening for another was great. It had that creepy atmosphere. Surprisingly, the ending was really relaxing to listen to. The music during the episodes was great. It made the shocking plot twist in the story more impactful to hear for the first time. The animation style looked good, and the animation throughout the entire anime was great. The characters move around naturally. I recommend to watch the anime if you really enjoy watching mystery anime shows, as that type of anime is rare to find, but if you were hoping to watch a scary anime, you'd be left disappointed. The things that were supposed to be scary seem like comedic scenes. I give this anime a 8 out of 10. So that's all I want to talk about for today, thank you for watching this video, have a great day and night wherever you are, and please like and subscribe if you enjoy the video, and please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.